computer. All right, so welcome everyone to uh, to the vision call, to our fun to fun model. Really, uh, what we're creating has never been seen before. The opportunity that we have is literally once in a lifetime. It's very rare that we will find an opportunity to be able to redevelop an entire downtown, let alone downtown of Las Vegas. So. This is something that we're going to be sharing here on this call. Uh, I'm going to go over uh, introducing a little bit of myself first, uh, what we're doing, the vision, and then I'm going to share some of our core competencies of what we got to offer, the products, and um, why we have such a rare opportunity here. And then also I'm going to share a, uh, we're going to be sharing the fund to fund, which is going to give everybody the opportunity to participate in what we're creating. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the downtown Las Vegas, and then we'll go into how we can, how everybody can participate, and then we'll do some Q and A's. Um, okay, so getting started here. Uh, my name is Alex, and I've been doing real estate for about 18 years. Uh, been doing multifamily hotels, storage, things like that. Been syndicating those for. Uh, the last three years, and we are now moving into the private equity, um, the fund model. I have a partner who I don't think he's on here right now, but they are really, really large family office in Florida, and they have been funding all the large institutions in the builds. Okay, so what I mean by that is the skyscrapers that you see in downtown Miami, um, uh, all, all the large projects, hundred million dollars and up. There is a fund product that uh, I will share um, in the second portion of today's call. But first, I just want to share a little bit of the vision of what I'm really about, what I'm here to create. So I usually like to do that just by sharing a little story or a little perspective of what's going on in the world. And some of you guys have heard me share this, but. Uh, about a week ago, uh, somebody shared with me that there is a there's a tribe in Africa. I think they're called the Maasai tribe. I can't remember specifically their name, but they're a very indigenous tribe. And they, you know, they one of their traditions is they drink blood. Okay, they drink blood for their nutrients and you know what they think is is gonna fill their their bodies. And every single week, there is a Coca Cola truck that rolls up there and gives them coke i first of all i just think that is ridiculous right this is a very indigenous tribe and they're actually now dying of diabetes they've never had coca-cola before and now they're all drinking it so if we can get coca-cola out there right our corporations are able to go out there and provide coca-cola for a tribe and we can't get clean water to people in the world that is just something that is extremely ridiculous to me all right and so the way that our economy works up to this point is if you look at all the large fortune 500 companies out there the companies that basically run the world if you look at their largest shareholders you have vanguard at the top you have blackrock at the top you have fidelity at the top these are the funds that literally run these companies they don't just have the largest shares of these companies but they literally put people into their their board okay so they make decisions too their their influence runs deep not only in companies but also in politics now i don't i'm not bashing them or anything i think they have done a great job to to establish influence to establish uh control over our world economy and they're just maybe their compass is off a little bit and what i mean by a compass being off a little bit i mean that everything is profit first one it's profit first two it is run by a small group of people and what i'm proposing here today is really going to challenge that status quo and i believe that in the future we are going to it's going to become uh we're going to empower people and it's going to become there's going to be a different model right and i don't i don't think that they need to do anything different besides shifting their priorities just a little bit. And the priorities that we, uh, we really focus on is societal and community impact first, empowerment two, second, and then profits will come. I believe that profits will come when we, do, when we create win-win scenarios. 
So I'm going to, what I'm going to show you today, not only is going to be a, an amazing investment opportunity, but also how you can be empowered to be a part of it, right? My vision is that a million people are a part of our, our ecosystem, raising a million dollars a piece. That's a trillion dollars. If we raise a trillion dollars, we are up there in the top five or six funds in the United States, and we will be taken as serious players. Now, the only thing we need to do is we need to show a model that creates win-wins and, uh, and actually produces the highest profits. Okay, and um, so uh, the other product that I'm going to be sharing in our second portion of the call is a proprietary software that our partners have. And that is a blockchain product that we're going to call Trust Ledger for now. Okay, and I'll explain that in a little bit too. But the goal of it is transparency and accountability. Imagine being able to see, imagine having transparency for all the things that BlackRock, Vanguard, Fidelity does. And imagine if Wall Street had to have this level of transparency for their investors. Okay, they will be held accountable to the actions that they're taking. If they can deliver Coca-Cola, to an indigenous tribe in Africa, they should be able to deliver Dasani water or clean water to every corner of our planet. All right, that is possible. All right, my, my personal vision is that we end poverty as a whole, that there is no reason why people should not have at least the basics, shelter, food, clean water, okay? Uh, the, I think over 2 billion people on our planet right now make less than $2 a day. And it is not that they are in scarcity, is that our advanced nations are operating from that place. And we just get to shift it a little bit. And it comes down to all of us as individuals becoming empowered and voting through the way that we invest. 401ks, pensions, right? These are all going into these funds and they are taking our money and doing the type of business that they're doing. All right, so... Right now, where I'm at is we have a really, really amazing opportunity to um, invest and redevelop the entire downtown Fremont area of Las Vegas. And how that came about is back in 2012, the, the late Tony Shea, who was the CEO of Zappos, bought $350 million worth of real estate down there. His vision was always to create a culture in which... We deliver wow, okay? He calls it delivering wow to his uh, employees, to his clients. And if we follow that model and we deliver wow to the communities in the area, we deliver wow to our investors, to our fund managers, to our investors, we will literally transform the world. He believes that if people follow that culture itself, that companies will operate differently, okay? Focusing on delivering that wow. So that is a model that we are going to follow, and that's why we've named our first fund the Tony Shea Legacy Fund. We have an opportunity to engage the estate right now. Tony passed away in 2020, um, so all of, this, all of this real estate is kind of sitting still, and they're looking for somebody with vision to carry forth Tony's, uh, Tony's ideas. All right, so, and, and I personally believe that us as an entire community can come and make create this vision make this vision a reality so a couple of the things that we have to offer that nobody else in the in the, in the country actually offers is our first product is our 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 debt fund okay our construction loan so for anyone that's not familiar with what typically what happens when you're going into development is you have to buy land okay so you let's say you spend six million dollars you buy a piece of land you have to spend about i don't know six hundred thousand dollars for architecture work engineering work to get the land entitled and then you go get a construction loan at 70 to 80 percent loan to cost okay so if that's a 10 million dollar development play then you need to raise three million dollars and get a loan for seven our product is the only one of its kind is 100% loan to cost and 100% loan to value. And what I mean by that is 
when you develop that whole 10 million is covered in the loan to cost loan to value is the value of the land that you have the 600 or the the, the 5.6 million dollars that you spent for the land also gets included in that loan so on an entire uh, construction loan that comes in you get the 5.6 million back and now you have an entire uh development uh construction funded okay and the other cool thing is that your your fund your your carrying cost the interest rate is 10 percent, and not paid monthly but paid at the end of the year 10 percent paid at the end of the year so that was what 15.6 million dollars was your was the total loan cost you would need about 1.5 1.6 million dollars as the carrying cost with our partners proxy financial you can also put that money into uh different types of treasury um bonds you know whatever throughout the year earn five six percent then you pay that at the end of the year your cost is literally around four percent a year like that is unheard of and insane right now the deals if the deals get bigger let's go to 100 million now you got to raise 30 million it's not three anymore and those types of that that play itself, the difference of having to raise 30 million to get a loan versus zero to get a loan, that's day and night. Unheard of. Okay, so we have this product that is only that the only product that we have that that no one else has. So that's number one. Number two, we also have partnership with some international banks that is giving us five hundred million dollar line of credit. So we're able to buy real estate first. Okay, so what this whole thing is going to look like, I'm going to show, show you how it all comes together. All right, so that's the second product. The third is the proprietary uh, blockchain um, software that we have. And that comes also with Proxy Financial. I think one of the, one of the founders is also here, CJ. And, and Jacqueline also works very closely with them. So they're both here as well. Uh, we, blockchain itself the original intention and purpose for blockchain is to record transactions okay to record all transactions it's a smart contract but it's been uh smeared a little bit with all the cryptocurrencies and all the coins and all that stuff and personally i feel like it's kind of like a, a smoke screen that was put in front of the people right because you think Wall Street wants their stuff on blockchain? If investors demanded Wall Street, Vanguard, Fidelity to have their, uh, to have their um, transactions recorded on blockchain, you think they want anybody to see that? Probably not, right? But this is, this is what we're going to do. We're going to elevate the, the way that people invest into the future. I believe that once this product comes out and we do it successfully, Everyone is going to demand from their operators and wherever they invest money into to be operating on a trust ledger. A trust ledger, this blockchain product, you cannot go and add zeros and take zeros away without it being recorded. All right, so this, this is a, a whole new level of transparency and accountability that if we saw, then companies will be held to that standards and investors are actually going to be empowered. Right now, most people have no idea where their money's going because the funds operate from profit first. Everybody else is only looking at profits from their returns. So your 401ks and all the things that are going into retirement, they're giving you great returns. They're not telling you about the fees. They're not talk telling you about the taxes and all the stuff. This is why people, you know, when they retire, they're like, oh my God, I thought I was going to have a million bucks, but I only have $200,000. And then by that point, you're too old to really do anything about it anyways, right? So this I saw, and the reason why I got so passionate about teaching and creating something that is challenging the status quo, disrupting the way things are done, is because right after COVID, when I came, came back to the States, I was in Peru for a while, I saw the elderly working at Publix, at Walmart, ShopRite, all the different convenience stores and my Asian culture, like we don't like our parents, our elders are taken care of. Like I, my mom is never going to be working at a Publix or a Walmart or anything like that. Right. So that kind of saddened me and angered me at the same time. I don't know if they're there because they choose to, or because they were promised something and it was not delivered, you know, and we all have heard 
all these pension funds are are bankrupt social security's bankrupt everything is basically stacking on house of cards and the only thing that they can do is print more money so we want to challenge this status quo and i believe that we have a a, a path okay and this path the vision that I have, I believe, is very tiny compared to what is possible. And how it's going to grow is going to grow from each person seeing this vision, contributing to it, bringing your resources, bringing your knowledge to what we're going to create. It's going to take the entire tribe. It's going to take tribe Earth for this to happen. All right. And so that's the third product. The fourth one is we have a building process for those of you guys that have done construction normally what it looks like is you bid you send out a bid somebody bids right then uh <laughs> you send out a bid then um then then they uh then they then they de uh they, they bid it and then they deliver right then they build and they deliver so there's a usually a separation between the ownership the the architect and then the builders and usually what happens is you know, the, the, the builders blame the architect, the architect blames the builders, and everybody wants more money. Lots of labor and material and time is wasted during that process. We are going to be integrating something called the IPD, and that means integrated project delivery, which means everybody is working together. Everyone's going to be winning together. Ownership, architect, uh, developer, all in the same house, and it's all going to be together under our fund. Um, that's, that's the, the other way of, um, the other competency, the core competency that we have. And, uh, the, the last thing here is how's it all going to come together? Okay. And this is what I'm really excited about sharing. Okay. Uh, and, and what it's going to look like, let me see if I can pull up a, no, I'm not even going to go into that right now. I won't pull up a, a PowerPoint, but think about our fund right our first fund right here to buy into the fremont downtown project what we're going to be doing our goal is to raise our first fund is going to be 100 million to 200 million something like that and at the top of it is going to be all of you guys as individuals creating what's called a fund to fund now bridger pennington uh, has been talking a lot about fund to funds. Everybody's really excited. Oh my God, fund to funds. We can all be fund managers. However, the risk of running your own fund is one, the legal aspect of it. You have all these new people coming to raise capital and have legal issues. You know, the, you know they don't really know what they're doing. The second part is the ad admin part. The admin part is the onboarding, the distributions, the K1s, um, all that stuff, right? So the admin work. And the last thing is they have to figure out where they're going to deploy their capital once they raise it. Where are they going to put their fund to funds? So everybody's kind of still out there doing their own things. What we're going to do is we're going to build and put everybody into the same house, okay? same ecosystem. We believe that we have the best product. We're going to be able to create the best deals. And we have the best opportunity. I don't know if there's anybody else out there that it, that's got a vision of developing an entire downtown somewhere. That means each property increases the value of the next one. You know, everybody is doing individual deals, which is cool. No, no knock on that, you know, but your focus is just one. We have an opportunity to do this entire thing and we got to do it together as a tribe. Now, I do have, we do have large financial backings from international banks from the family office i could go and do all of this ourselves and create multi multi billion dollar portfolio but i don't want to do that because my goal and my vision is much much bigger so we've actually took the fund to fund model and we're building it in here so i'm going to give you guys an example of how it works okay we buy a piece of land an entire city block we go and build a 500 unit brand new class A. Okay, so we come in, we buy it with our 500 million line of credit. We can negotiate. We get the best pricing because we have all the cash up front. We close fast. Then we come in with the construction fund to build and we fund all of that. When the product is done, we sell it to our legends fund, the Tony Shea legacy fund at cost. 
Okay, and as this fund grows, this fund itself can actually acquire properties that are already profiting at a discounted price too. Again, it's because we have the funds ready to go. Okay, having funds and having the the uh, the certainty of close is the most important thing in the coming in, in in real estate. Okay, in the next twelve to eighteen months, there's over one point five trillion dollars of loans coming due. One point five trillion dollars of loans maturing coming due. That means they have to transact, and because of the interest rates of where we are today. All of those properties are valued less than they were in 2020. So you got very aggressive players buying all these properties. And now it's time to refinance because their loan is due. And they're going to get an evaluation less than what equity they also have in the deal. Okay, There's going to be so many opportunities coming. And having uh, funds up front is going to be... Uh, extremely extremely advantageous all right because if i'm a seller and my loan is coming due in six months and you know jesse comes and says hey i'm gonna syndicate and i'll and i'll buy your deal for 10 million dollars i'm like okay well maybe maybe not he'll close or i can come in and say uh, or, or Jacqueline comes in and says, hey, Alex, I- I'll buy your $10 million deal, but I'm going to give you $8.5 million and I'll close in 25 days. Here's all the funds. Loan or not, we are buying it to close. I'm going to be like $10 million, maybe close, $8.5 million, at least save something before I hit that period of refinance. I'm going to say, all right, $8.5 million, Jacqueline, you take it. That's $1.5 million right away as a as a return for our investors okay so that's just the difference of having a fund versus having to raise the capital to do do deals so um another i'll kind of give more of an example of uh what we're doing so i kind of gave the example of the phase one phase two of a build when a developer builds a new product okay the the gc marks it up okay then the owner has to mark it up and then you have funds like BlackRock will come in and say, all right, you built this for $40 million. You marked it up to 50. We're okay buying it at 50. Here's cash. Take it. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll knock it down to $49 million, right? By the time it gets to your regular investors that are you know, underwriting these deals at 2x in five years, it has already been marked up to $65, $70 million. What happens if this deal was sold at $40 million to our fund because we built it. We built it with the construction loan. We built it with our money. Thir- 25 to $30 million is, is that profit. So phase one is you have the construction, you have the builders. Phase two, you have BlackRock coming in to buy it. Phase three, you have your typical 1031 exchange, syndicators, whatever, right? Coming in to, to analyze and try to buy that deal. We're cutting phase two and phase three out. BlackRock, Vanguard, nobody's going to be able to come in and buy it. And so as a fund-to-fund manager, you are bringing in your investors to invest directly into this main fund. You will get the best returns for your investors. So our goal here is to empower people and to help you build up as a fund manager. And you may ask, well, uh, I don't have any experience Right. All the things you said earlier, Alex, about legal and admin and all that stuff. I don't know how to do all that. I don't know anything about it. And this is why we've we've thought about that. And we're actually going to put training wheels on for you. We're going to we're going to literally prevent you from being able to fail as a brand new fund manager. One, there's going to be education on a weekly basis Two. We will build a fund for you with our securities attorneys. So all of your legal is going to be covered. Three, your admin work. Okay, your admin work means your your onboarding, your distributions, your K-1s, all all that stuff that an admin admin does. Proxy Financial is going to come in and do all of that for you too. All right, and what you have to do is you have to click some buttons maybe to say, yes, I'm going to go here. We're going to put our funds in here. And you collect asset management fee, 
What is asset management fee? Asset management fee, three to five percent. We're gonna we're gonna suggest that you charge that as a beginning, as a beginner fund manager. Three to five percent is you know, especially with the returns that we're gonna get, is perfectly fine. Five percent of a million dollars that you raise is fifty thousand dollars a year. That's your that's your salary. Think about it as you're starting a business, and as you build, as you build, as you build your track record you know, through us, all of our investment thesis transfers over to you. You are literally pitching these deals the same way that I would be pitching these deals. We're putting the training wheels on for you. So I, I like to use an example again to, to show what that, what that looks like. Let's say you are opening a gas station. You're competing with a whole bunch of gas stations out there. Your gas station also owns the refinery. Okay, that means you are getting the gas undiluted class A asset into your gas station at cost. Who can compete with you? What other gas station can compete with you? None, right? Because they have to go and buy the marked up product. They have to dilute it. <laughs> kind of sound like I'm like talking about drug dealing right now, but you got to dilute it <laughs> and then you go out and sell it. They can't compete with you. In my mind right now, I actually just thought of another example, but it's illegal, so I won't even say it. Um, but yeah, you're bringing in the product undiluted, uncut, <laughs> and you're selling it at cost to your investors. Nobody can compete with that. Now, number two is the protection for you. How do we prevent you from failing? One, we have the trust ledger. Okay, that trust ledger is, is can you buy your current portfolio? I'll answer that in a second here. Um, we'll do Q&A after. Uh, our, our trust ledger is going to make all transactions from our main fund all the way to your fund to funds recorded on blockchain. Okay, it is every transaction, every contract is recorded in there. That takes away people's ability to commit fraud, keeps people in integrity, keeps everybody accountable. Your investors will feel much safer. Like, wow, what is this? How come nobody's done this before? Yeah, it's interesting. Why? Why people don't want this level of transparency and accountability? So that's there. Number two, we do all the admin work. That's the place where people mess up. The admin work. People mess up there. And then, we, and then every fund to fund will also have an RIA. Registered Investment Advisor. Okay, that means your compliance, you're going to be protected there as well. And then our, uh, our, our securities attorney will also be there to make sure that everything is done correctly. All right, so you got training wheels on. And the other example that I use is like, if you're going bowling, okay, what we're doing is we're putting the gutters up so that you hit a pin. And if you're just so new to it, you might throw it into a different lane. We're putting a cage around your lane as well. So you chuck this ball down the bowling alley, it's going to hit a pin. All right. And because everything that you're doing is going to be a replica of what we have. Our, our investor deck, our investment thesis is all transferring up to you. Anything that I would say to somebody else, you will also be saying to your investors. There's really no level of differences. I will be bringing investors in just like you guys will be bringing investors in. And the, the goal eventually is to see that our funds, right? These funds, real estate fund number one, Tony Shea Legacy Fund. Okay, this right now, that... That portfolio is probably valued somewhere around 750 to $1.3 billion. That is just like a lot of it is just raw land. The size of it. If you, if anybody has ever been to Fremont downtown area, everywhere you look, that por is part of the portfolio. You see large entire city blocks, parking lot, buildings, hotels, multifamily. It's all part of it. And because Tony has passed away, nothing's happening. We have an opportunity to literally redevelop this entire area. There is no opportunities like this. None. 
all right and my vision for it is that people can bring their passion projects to this place tony used to have a board and people will come and stick a red note for a business that they want to start and then they will stick a black note or, or, or a blue note blue sticky note for real estate that they want to do and he would just fund all of it now less due diligence from what he was doing because he exited with a billion dollars he was able to do that but we coming together as a community shared vision okay like that is going to make downtown las vegas something that is completely different than anything that has been done before okay we have our fun product the, our fun to fund the way we've set it up never been done before the project that we have as our first real estate project entire downtown area also once in a lifetime opportunity and once we plant our flag here once our funds and every one of you guys being a part of it plants our flags here we will be able to go out and replicate this in cities across the country and we will demonstrate that there is a model where when people are empowered and when people are in charge of their money that there is a way to create win-wins across the board and hopefully through that inspire these massive funds to operate with the same level of transparency accountability and a, and, and a desire to have their investors win to empower people okay what's happening right now is we're disempowering people don't don't worry about where your money's going you, you get you worry about just your returns okay don't even worry about where to invest it invest it into our fund and we own da, 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 all these things so you're gonna get great returns all right now you're disempowered when you're retiring here's what you get oh sorry we forgot to tell you there's here's the fees here uh we forgot to tell you you're gonna get taxed here all right so there's just a lot of things that you're just kept in the dark but when you're empowered we demand where our our, our money's gonna go we're gonna vote with our money all right i don't think that money will change the world i think people will change the world what i see right now is i see a million people as fun to fund managers that we empowered a million people to go out and do this and become fund managers that means education that means expanded thinking okay and more opportunities for everyone there is a different path that we can take now and the million people talk to a thousand people each we have enough voting power to to literally change the direction of uh of our world and so inspiring these funds they already created the channels they created the vehicles and the channels to change the world they're already doing it okay but what i see is because of how we vote because of what we demand that we don't we don't create medicine to keep people sick and alive we focus on curing a disease that curing a disease actually is the more attractive thing to do all right so we focus on what's right we focus on positive community impact the forward movement of humanity than just profits and so that's that's my vision of what is possible here again like i said this vision that i have although very powerful and has been growing and we've been calling in a lot of different allies and people to con contribute and be a part of it um you know and, and everyone that i've spoken to want to be a part of it anybody that is huge that understands funds understands construction understands real estate are like dude you have a product like this you have an opportunity like this like i got a hundred million dollars i'm like yeah we'll take your hundred million but i also want all of my peoples all the people in the community to be able to do that you know this isn't just about institutions winning anymore so um that is my my spiel and my vision uh, i'm sure there's probably some other things oh one more thing proxy financial is an all-around amazing financial institution that is focused on education and democratizing private equity so we are so aligned and they're they're literally contributing all of their resources to help make this happen 
And one of the things that they're going to do is they're going to give all of our fund managers financial fitness. Okay, financial fitness is uh, retirement planning, tax planning, and succession planning. That's, that's incredible. I think that's the basics. When, when the foundation is done right for everyone, people are less likely to compromise themselves. Right? When you have that foundation taken care of. And to go even further than that, and I, I think we've made this agreement, but Proxy is also going to extend that to every single investor of your fund. The power of people coming together in, in something like this is just, just never never seen before. And I hope everybody you know wants to be a part of this vision. And I haven't, I haven't marketed what we're doing yet. We will. Okay, my partner gave me a, uh, a list, 60,000 accredited investors, half of them 100 millionaires, billionaires. Once I put this out there, this thing is going to blow up. And I want to give everybody the opportunity here first to be a part of it, okay? To be, to be, on, to be able to be on a one-on-one -on -one basis, ask questions in a small, intimate group like this before it goes out to, 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 to that list, okay? Before we start marketing it everywhere and because it's going to happen, all right? And so what does this look like? How do you participate? Uh, what it's going to look like is there is a cost to set up a fund, okay? When I set up a fund, it cost me $60,000. But because of what we're doing and the big vision, uh, MW Law, the securities attorney that we're using, the firm, the law firm, they have agreed to really drastically reduce that cost for us. Proxy Financial, their services, they've also drastically reduced it. You know, everyone's cutting more than 50% because they understand that there is a much larger vision. There is a service to people. And the people that I'm bringing along with me are about service. Okay, if you're not about serving people and about helping people, then you will just kind of phase out of what we're creating. So it's going to be 50, 50K to start this. You'll also be invited to our weekly calls, which you'll have, you know, MW Law will be on there teaching securities. Um, Proxy will be teaching financial management and financial fitness. We'll also be sharing and constantly sharing the vision of where it's going. So you become very fluent as sharing the vision, the products that we offer, you will also learn that. And my partner will come on and teach how do you manage $80 million when it comes to you. So you're going to learn on the, the learning that you're going to get from being a part of what we're doing. That itself is literally priceless. Funds are at the very, very top of the investment world. Okay, I think about I think about this sometimes. I started in real estate by doing residential real estate. I did wholesale. I did flip. I did lease options. I did all the stuff that you can possibly do in residential. Once I moved to multifamily, I was like, what was I doing in residential for that long? I would never go backwards, right? I'm, if anybody offered me, hey, let's go do a single family together. I'm like, no, I can't. I can't go there anymore. And then now that we're playing at the fun level, we're playing at the highest level. I'm also not going backwards to syndications, Okay, I, I do think that right now with, you know, some of you guys might have seen the news out there of different syndicators and syndications kind of going to, for lack of a better term, going to shit, right? And, and, and we're starting to see people literally not operating in integrity. Okay, there's actually a deal that I saw on The Real Deal that 120 investors invested into a deal and they never bought the deal. What? How, how, how is that even like a thing? They never bought the deal. They put the money somewhere else. That project went for, got foreclosed on. Everybody's freaking out. Syndicator, operator, nowhere to be found. Hundreds of millions of dollars being foreclosed on left and right in that portfolio. That should not happen. Okay, so playing at the, the top and the top of the top of the game the education that's going to be available, the, the, the opportunity to expand your mind is, you know, this is, it's, it's going to be, it's priceless. All right. So if you are interested, um, you know, I'm going to put my, 
I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm going to put my own, I'm going to put my one-on-one -on -one meeting here, my calendar. And this will not happen very long also. I'm only probably going to be able to do this uh, type of one-on-one -on -one stuff for a very, very short period of time. Okay, so there's the link to set up a one-on-one -on -one with me. And we're really looking for some partners, like at least the first 10 to 20 partners to come in and be in the be pioneering this with us. Now, there is lots of benefits for for first for first comers, right? The first projects that we buy, they will increase in value as we build on the second, third, fourth, fifth projects. Okay, so there is definitely a lot of benefits for early barrier, early entry. And also the cost is down right now. But as this becomes bigger and more popular, we will need to, the, the cost will, will also actually go up. Okay, because there is also a waiting period. For us to set up a fund to fund for you will take anywhere from 10 days to three weeks. And our, uh, our law firm right now can handle... 20 people at a time, probably. All right, so there is a, a, a lag time from when you make a decision to when you actually have your fund ready to go. Um, yeah, so that's kind of most of what I thought I was going to be, be talking about and sharing. Um, Jacqueline, had, did I miss anything? Chris, did I miss anything? These are my partners also, just Jacqueline, Chris, Ryan also in there. Ah, okay. Also, <laughs> yes. Also, Brian, who has got the proxy symbol, he is one of the, the principals and founders of Proxy Financial. He is here. Do I see CJ here? I thought I saw his name before. But he's, on. he's in the back. <laughs> he's somewhere? I guess he's somewhere. Okay. So, yeah. oh, I have more, more, more than one page. I got it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go to a couple of pages. yeah, yeah. All right. So, you know, like, they manage billions, okay? And they can see the possibility of what we're doing here. And that's two founders of this company being a part of it, all right? And we have other players that are literally really, really big that are uh, gonna be partnering with us. And I think some of them are here. But yeah, Brian, if you wanna share anything, did I miss anything that I was gonna say? Did I represent Proxy correctly too? <laughs> Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know you're and and the education that we're gonna be providing on a weekly plus there's going to be you know live events where we're gonna bring people together and share what's next because there is a next for those of you guys that become fund to fund managers first there is what's next too, right? Because every one of our real estate funds, all the all the real estate funds that we have. Like they're going to need CEOs, CFOs, CIOs, people that actually can run funds. And where do you learn how to do that? You learn here with training wheels on with us. Okay. You understand how the whole process works. Now, further down the road, after your first fund, you may now be experienced in your second fund because you know your investor base really well. Now you can take performance-based fees because you also see, whoa, 
the returns are freaking massive. My investors are getting 70. Uh, well, hold on. Wait, am I allowed to say no? My investors are getting great returns and, you know, I'm just collecting a small asset management fee. You know what? Moving forward because of my track record and what I've done as a fund manager, now I'm going to say it's an 80-20 split. Okay, so you have an opportunity literally to grow inside. And then before you know it, maybe you have real estate pro projects. You know, I know Jesse talked about distressed assets. You know, maybe the fund gets created for distressed assets, but it's all inside our ecosystem, right? We take care of the beginners, and then we're also going to have opportunities for people that become veterans as you scale up. And all of our education is to help you scale up higher and higher so you understand how the economics work, how the legal works, how the, the, the securities work, you know, and how to raise capital, everything. Okay, raising capital becomes easy when, when, uh, when, you can, when you have a really great product. When you have a great product, when you have a great deal. And we got, we got them both. And these are literally, no one else has, has them. All right, so you also have something that it's not like, oh, yeah, some John over there has also got the same thing. No, he doesn't. So we, we're going to take care of operations. We take care of your admin. We take care of the deals. Okay, we, we take care of all the things that would be somewhere where people can slip up and fail. And eventually, people are going to see that the Legends Impact Funds, okay, and this Legends brand, uh, if you don't operate like this, we don't want to invest in there because it's just too risky. If you aren't transparent, if you're not using a trust ledger thing, if you're not using blockchain, okay, then we don't really want to invest in it. It's too risky. There's not a level of transparency that we demand. What is the transparency in today's investments? You get a newsletter once a month. Hopefully, you know, a, a newsletter, like every, anybody can write anything in the newsletter. And you're just like, oh, I guess since I'm not empowered, I'm just going to sit here and take it. Right. So this is this is the we're changing the game on all different fronts. All right, so uh, what is the split on the phone? So I'll, I'll open up for questions now if you want to just unmute yourself or raise your hand so that we can go through the questions. We'll do this for maybe 30 to 40 minutes. I know it's probably a bunch of questions. There was a question earlier that didn't get answered that you said you were going to answer. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. um, it was, can you buy your current portfolio by your fund? Can I buy the current portfolio what? By our fund? Yeah, so we actually we one we do we do have uh, we are engaged with a bank from France that really wants to purchase the entire portfolio. That means we have no carrying costs. They want to partner with us, so that is a possibility too. But again, my goal is to empower people, not banks, not institutions. All right, now. I'm okay. There will be definitely room for banks to join us and be a part of what we're doing because it's going to be that big. And they may think they're going to get into real estate. They may think that they're coming in for profits, this and that. But they're going to come in and play the game of changing the world. So, yeah, there will be that possibility. And, yes, we could probably do it without everybody. This portfolio. But no way are we going to go and, and, uh, and change the way that... BlackRock and Vanguard and Fidelity and State Street operates. They're just gonna be like, oh, there's that one fund. Again, a couple small, a, a small group of people running the entire fund. Let's go and partner with them and do things together. Versus, here's a million people that you gotta deal with. <laughs> That's what I see. All right, so what else? Um, Kelly, go ahead. And or if I have a client that is has a 1031, we're up against a deadline. Can we direct the 1031 funds into your fund? 1031, 
1031 requires them to be on the loan itself. Then they become like a JV partner with us. It is possible, but unless that 1031 fund is like 20, 30 million dollars, it's going to be, we're probably not going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, Brian seems to want to answer this. Sorry. Brian seems to want to answer this. I'm going to let compliance answer this. Yeah. Now, one of the things that Brian mentioned is, you know, I will bring in investors, but I will only people will only enter the master fund at a very high minimum. OK, so five million and up, they can come in. We can make a side contract. They're kind of like a, a fund to fund itself. But everyone else has to invest through you guys. And that's that's what's going to be really amazing. And everybody is on an even playing field. Okay, Jesse. Can I say something really quick? Yeah. Yeah, if you guys are struggling with 1031s, um, Proxy can help you guys redirect this into business vehicles and start doing some things that you guys are not doing today. And if you Yeah, so uh, Jacqueline or Brian, if you guys want to put your contacts or however they contact you guys uh, in there, that would be great too. Just as another resource. Like we're not about keeping any resources or keeping anything to ourselves. It's all about sharing. It's about sharing and working together. Sure. To my clients about doing 1031, I tell them, okay, let's identify the property, but let's have our safeguards where if the other one falls apart, then our money goes there without a tax bullet. Mm. Um, event. So, yeah. Um, but I do like the self directed because I'm a, I'm a huge proponent of that. And, you know, I'm not, it, uh, we've got the bigger group. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. I, I would connect with Jacqueline for sure about any 1031 exchange stuff. All right, Jesse, go ahead, brother. Hey, what's the investment minimum, um, and is it only accredited investors? Yes, so as a fund-to-fund -fund manager, your fund is only going to be able to accept accredited investors. Now, to start a fund-to-fund, -fund, you don't have to be accredited, but you will only be able to accept accredited investments, and it's really up to you what your minimum is going to be as a fund to fund as a fund manager just know that there is a 100 person max uh of investors that you can take in your fund to fund then it's time to close and open up a second one correct brian okay great see i've been trained uh tori what's up brother good to see you Yeah, I mean, on the main fund. Oh, hello? Hold on, I just gotta mute you for a second. There's an echo. Um, on the main fund, yes, there is always gonna be some sort of asset, man like a, a management fee, and that's gonna go to paying, you know, uh, the, the marketing, the the legal, the the, um, the accounting, all that, all the stuff that comes with managing a fund. Um, and then 
we're thinking about three different uh, classes of investments. And that will look something like, and don't, this is not set in stone, but it will look something like a 12% pref. Your choice class number A would be like 12 pref. Okay, your choice number two will be a six pref and a 60-40 split, or your choice number three will be a straight 80-20 split. All right, so as the returns get larger, people are gonna wanna be in the 80-20 because that the difference between 12 pref to an 80-20 when the returns get bigger is astronomical. So you as a fund manager will kind of offer the same things to your investors and then you will choose uh, accordingly which class do you want to invest into in each of these funds. So that is tentatively going to be something, it's going to be along the lines of that. It'll be much more attractive for you to share with your investors like, well, you know, you want 12 pref or you want, you know, half pref, half split, or you want a full, you know, split. Does that make sense? No, I will not because we will have multiple funds. Fund one, the Tony Shea Legacy Fund one will close. Then fund two will open, then three, then four. We're also going to have a debt fund. And I haven't even talked about the other part of the vision that we're going to have. There is a venture fund. There is going to be a lot of things that we're going to support youth and, you know, children that have been uh, rescued from, from being trafficked. Like there's a whole ton of things on the other end of it. But I want to keep today on real estate and this opportunity here. But eventually as a fund to fund, as a fund manager, you will be able to choose. You know, I want some of the money in uh, real estate and then I want some to be in the debt fund and then I want some to be in venture and the startup fund. Like as you become more sophisticated, this is what I, what I mean when I say you guys start to level up. But right now, just, you know, I wanna keep it very simple, right? You got training wheels on, real estate is very, very solid and we have the, the, the core competencies in here that nobody else has, right? So this is the vehicle that I wanna at least get everybody to be familiar with before we start looking at other different vehicles. All right. Cool. All right, Nelson. Yeah, sorry, Alex. Hey. hey. Yeah, I know the answer, but I think Brian smiles, so that means he wants to share. Go ahead, Brian. Yeah. Lots of red tape, lots of red tape, lots of 
Yeah. So, and, and you guys are doing the the onboarding for them, right? So you will kind of verify all that. So that's that's another that's another thing, right? That's that's something that people are like, oh, I don't know what to do. So proxy handles all the admin work, right? This is stuff that people let slip by, and you could get in trouble by letting things slip by like that. Mm-hmm. Um, Kelly, pr maybe we can we can discuss that. Yeah, of course, Nelson. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so there, you know, of course, there's a next level qualified client, qualified purchaser, and Chris threw it in there. Great job, Chris, uh, for putting that info there. And is there any type of nonprofit tied to this? Um, maybe I would definitely love to explore and put and do something with nonprofit. That is something that. I'm very passionate about, especially if we're working with youth or we're working with um, animals, right? Love, love those things. So, yeah. Okay. Who else? What else? What other questions do you have? Like, this is game changing. Sean, go ahead. What's up, Alex? How you doing? What's up? Uh, quick question. Um, as far as uh, what uh, the project looks like, when will we find that out? Uh, what are the steps in getting all that in place? You mean as in the projects that we are buying or? So to the Fremont project mm -hmm. um, in general, like what it looks like. Yeah, so we will be, uh, we, we're engaged with the estate right now. And we have a 125 unit hotel under contract right now. Because of also the the size that we are and what we can bring to the table, I mean, we're literally buying this thing at a 12 cap, right? Like what, what we're able to do because of what we offer on the front end and the type of loan that we got for this, like this thing is going to be like 60, 70% cash on cash. It's insane. So that's just one project and that's a cash flowing project, but the fund itself will also not take the risk on developments. What's going to happen again, like I said, development is going to be done on the outside. We have a separate fund that is private with the family office to do this. And then we will sell it at cost to our fund. So there's going to be, you know, we've identified and we actually right now, we just paid a large amount of money to do an appraisal on the entire portfolio. So there's definitely, you know, this is, we're setting up to be able to to have this whole thing happen so we'll we'll continue to update as 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 that comes along but 
if you think about this product, let's say let's say the entire Fremont downtown thing doesn't happen. We still have $1.5 trillion of real estate coming to change hands in the next 12 to 15 months. Everybody should be able to be a part of this uh, this, this transfer of wealth that's going to be happening. And for once, possibly, institutions won't be the ones on the winning side. They're the ones letting go of all the offices and the multifamilies and stuff. And their pencils down. All right. Uh, does that answer your question? Hey, Alex, yeah. I'm sorry to bother you. I'm a Vegeta. You know that. Where's that? Who's that? Oh, hey, Kelly. Sorry, I'm a Vegeta. Uh, <laughs> so, what's the estimated timeline for return? So, we are going to be, you know, each one of these funds, the, the fund itself is going to be a 10 year fund. And. So that's uh, that's the life of each one of the funds and the returns, you know, we're going to be looking at that time frame, 3x, 4x, I don't know yet. Excellent, thank you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah, so general purpose question, I'm sure some are probably asking on this, so I'll, uh, I'll jump in and ask it. So if you're not accredited investor, is there a way to invest in this? Is there anything they could I mean, as a non, see, this is, this is one of the other things that the country is doing that kind of separates, you know, the, the wealthy and the, you know, the average person, like they create this non-accredited and this accredited thing where somehow if you have more net worth and more money, you have access to better deals and you can actually invest in better deals. And then you have people that are non-accredited forced to invest in these other types of deals, right? And it's harder. For somebody that is running a 506B type of deal, it's harder for them to raise the capital. The deals are smaller. And it just, it's, you know, it's, a, it's something that we get to shift. So the solution that we have is become a fund manager. Okay, if you are if you are not like most people that are accredited that have a lot of you know money to invest, they've been investing for a while. They probably don't want to be a fund manager. They just want to invest their money with you. You're trading your time for experience and to get yourself to that accredited level. Right, that's the, that's the opportunity here. Is that if you're non accredited, like you need to get in the game and become a fund manager. You need to do something. If you're accredited and you have, you know, $50 million net worth, you probably have no interest in becoming a fund manager. I mean, maybe you still do because it's, this is incredible, but you probably just say here, great returns. Take my money. You guys do, you know, you guys do what you need to do with it. And I rather go and, you know, spend time with my family on the beach or work on my other business, my other passion projects, or like people don't. People with a lot of money don't really want to go and learn something new and do this whole thing. But if you're non-accredited, like this is your opportunity, your opportunity to be a part of something amazing and to change your life and the legacy of your, your, your family. Cool. Like I've been, I, I've been, I've been unaccredited before and you know, like I had to grind. I did what I need to do. I wholesaled. I learned. I went to conferences. I raised capital. I raised money. And then, and then we get to get to a different position. All right, go ahead, DJ. So do we have to raise a certain amount of money before we could put it into the fund? No, nope, you don't. You can deploy it. Okay, so you deploy it. You deploy it when you when you raise it, and um, you know as you continue to grow it, you will put it. So this is all part of this education process of how it's all going to work. Like we're going into very details right now, but yeah, you you will continue to raise your fund. The fund technically could be an evergreen product. You just keep it going until you've hit a hundred investors, and now you're full. Like when we hit a hundred or two hundred million, 
we're going to be that fun will stop and we will start fund number two. Fund number two, three and four might start at the same time. Our debt fund might start at the same time that fund number three starts. And that's going to give you options as a fund to fund manager at that point to say, you know, I, I really like what I've seen in fund one. So I definitely want to roll some of this into fund two. And then I'm going to, you know, I see what you guys are doing with the debt. So debt is straight cash flow. Let me also make sure that, you know, me as a fund manager, I want to offer certain types of returns and I will put some into the debt fund and, and offset all that. And then your money, you know, proxy will help you, you know, make sure that your money doesn't sit still. Like it's always going to be moving in and out of treasury notes and, 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 uh, you know, high yield, um, accounts. You'll be earning 5% ish, something like that on your money. It was, it's never going to sit in the bank and just depreciate and die. All right. So you're, you're never going to just be sitting there waiting for deals. All right. Uh, Jaden. Yeah, this is open. You know, this is not a 506. This is not a non Brian, do you want to answer this before I just speak? Five hundred six C, no. You have it backwards. Five hundred six C is the B is a non-accredited. Yeah. I mean, huge. This is, this is what I'm saying. We're creating training wheels and a, and a fail safe for everybody. You know, that we have, you know, proxy here doing compliance for you on your marketing and what you can and can't say out there. You have MW law doing a lot of the legal stuff. So make sure you, your, your registration and everything is done correctly that you file the things you need to file on a yearly basis. Right. These are all challenging stuff. If you just go out there and do this on your own, chances are you're going to slip and fall somewhere. And the point of having proxy and MW law in the educational system is so that you don't fall into the holes that you don't know that isn't even there. Huge. Um, yeah, so all of your fund to funds actually will be designed as a 506C fund. Like we're not, this, it's not going to be a 506B. These fund to funds are all going to be 506C. So does that answer for you, Jaden? And and you you can go out and you put a billboard up on the on the wall of, on on the on the highway if you want. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that helps. I, I guess I've got the idea in mind. I think, uh, I mean, I guess follow the money. So, so go to the people that already handle money and see if I can make fund managers out of them. Uh, well, also think about this. Like, I've sat down with a couple. I think they're billionaires. Okay, I don't know their net worth ex exactly, but they've said, "Whoa, if you have a product like this, we have a hundred million. We have five hundred million. If you really have a product like this, yes, we really do have a product like this. As you learn what it is that we have, and you get it, and you learn how to pitch it, you will have these same conversations." You will have one person come in. If that's possible for me, then it's possible for you because your investment thesis is exactly the same as ours. What you have to offer is the same as ours. It's going to give every single one of you an opportunity to be able to sit down with super high net worth people and offer value and actually speak at, a, at the same level. Right? And offer something that they've never seen and that they, they can't do. They don't got this product. They don't have access to it. Just that itself, I mean, everything is, is priceless here and what we're offering. Game changing. So, awesome. Yeah, and you know, as, as fund managers, you don't have to do it alone. You can do it with a couple of you guys coming together, right? You, now, I do want to mention and, and, and kind of share this too. You don't want to just bring somebody in because they can bring $10,000 to help you start this fund. Like, what else do they have to offer? What's their network look like? Can they help raise some capital? Can they help with doing some of the work? Maybe you don't have time. I don't got time to even deal with this. Who's, if you got time, you have value. If you got resources, you got value. If you got money, you got value. Every single person has value, but pick your team based on the value that you think you need that's going to complement you. All right, so I would, I would just advise that because you really could come together with three or four people and say, hey, let's do this together because we're looking at the long, long play here. We're going to learn together. We're going to build a, build out our fund together. We're going to be, we're going to build a name together. We're going to build a brand together, you know, and we're going to run a big fund. Your fund, your fund management experience. I mean, this is like, like giving you guys the highest of credentials that you can get in this game and you're not going in blind you're going in with an army behind you all right so go ahead jesse as far as uh, branding marketing things like that go uh, are we all going to be like legend fund one or is it going to be our own um, our own like capital group like I take one of my capital groups and start the fund under that you can brand behind yourself, Brian. I I don't know what you think about this, but I do think that uh, becoming consistent is better. Like one cohesive unit. It's kind of like McDonald's, right? If you open up a McDonald's, do you want to call it Jesse's Burger Joint, right? Like it's just it's gonna it's gonna take you off the the whole the whole picture, the whole vision. So you can you can say you know this is a Legends Fund, you know run by Jesse Capital Group, you know, something like that, right? That could be good, but I would advise that everybody actually follows the brand because why would you deviate from it when it's becoming so big? You, you want to leverage it, right? People are going to see and be like, I want to go to McDonald's, right? That's where I'm going. Like you got Jesse's Burger Joint, you got McDonald's. Like I, I know what I'm going to get at McDonald's. I don't know what I'm going to get at Jesse's Burger Joint. So... Yeah. Thanks, Mhm. Mm Brian, sound good? Is compliant what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Get up and come to Jay's estate and say, hey, let, let me get in with you. 
Yeah, literally, I was speaking to somebody. And he goes, dude, what you're offering, like just the access itself to what you're doing, the type of debt that you have, the type of deals that you're getting into, like just that access itself. He's like, you're only charging 100,000. I'm like, no, I'm charging 50. Right. And, and, and we're really just trying to bring it down to the cost of what it costs to get you guys set up and, and, and the time for proxy and some of the people to come in and do the things that they're going to do. All right, because this is a this is a everyone wins thing. I decided last weekend that you know moving forward, I a lot a lot of people have been in in my mastermind and the things that I run, we charge money for. But I've decided that moving forward, all my educational stuff is going to be free. But you got to join us. You got to join us to be a part of you know build your fund, and then we want to give you the education for free. I don't want to educate you and hope and hope that you go out and do something right. Because this is what every single mastermind program looks like out there. Hey, you learn how to do these deals. Everyone teaching the exact same thing. Nobody actually teaching you how to do debt or really operate the deal. So here, you learn the basics. You go out, do your own thing. And if you get in trouble, eh, not my problem. All right? That's literally everything. And I'm thinking like, okay, how do I make sure people don't even fail? How do I put them in this ecosystem, like for real, and give them an opportunity to invest alongside me, right? And, and dude, the returns are great. You guys, not only should you be, you know, fund managers, but you should be investing your own money into it too. I'm going to be investing my money into this fund. So, okay, Tori, go ahead. Minimums ten million. Yeah, invest in your own fund. What would you say, Brian? Exactly. Time. Like, if somebody's going to invest a million dollars with you, if somebody has a million dollars to invest, they're probably not trying to become a fund manager and do a whole bunch of work and, and learn a whole bunch of things and commit an hour or two hours or three hours a week to learning and then doing all this. Like, they're like, here, take the money, make my money. So we have to really shift the way that we think. It's not. It's not like we're competing with you know, people that are going to come in. If they're your investors, they're your investors. You're going to them and saying, dude, I got an investment opportunity. 
You're not going to say, hey, I got an investment opportunity, but hey, if you want, you can go start your own fund and do it. Like, that's not what you're advertising. Right? Mm -hmm. you You guys have swim lanes, and you're going to be handed a package at onboarding that's, here's your marketing material, here's your verbiage, here's your this, put your logo here, put this there, right? It's going to be done for you, so you guys don't have to worry about all this nitty-gritty stuff, all of these things. We're going to have all the money calculations done for you. Everything is going to be handed in an onboarding package. Does that help? So this is what you were pointing to, Jacqueline. You made this, right? So this is this is kind of what it looks like right now. We have a whole bunch of fund to funds coming in to real estate fund number one. Eventually, what it's going to look like is this. It's going to look like a million different fund of funds. Okay, all of you guys picking the funds. Fund number one is going to be closed. Fund number two, three, four, five, six. Maybe by the time that people get in, they're already on fund number twenty. You know, and then there's going to be debt funds. There's going to be venture funds. You will become more sophisticated as a fund fund manager. And at some point, these funds need somebody to run. Fund number eight, fund number 20, fund number 30. Who am I, Who's going to be running these funds? It's not going to be somebody brand new that doesn't understand the ecosystem. It's going to be you fund to fund managers. And you're going to escalate up here. You're going to say, hey, Alex, I, I understand your system. I love to create our fund under your brand here under under the brand right i won't even say your brand because this is not mine this is everyone's so this is what it's going to look like is that for another thing like high net worth people don't want to jump through different hoops and, and go you know from person to person to person once they find someone they like they generally continue to invest with those people so you're mm -hmm. not going to take like a million dollar client seems like a lot, but when you have a few of those people lined up and they start writing bigger checks, two, three, four, five million dollars, then you know it, it, it's going to your mindset's going to shift a little bit. You know, you're not going to be looking for like hundred thousand dollar people, and they're mm -hmm. not going to want to go through and, and start a fund and do it all themselves. Yeah. Now, also, somebody asked the question if they already have their own fund of funds. Yes, you can invest into our fund, but we will need to go and do a lot of checking up on your whole s structure. We have to do our due diligence on your process, right? Do you have an RIA? Do you, wh what is your process for admin? We do some background checks. How is your fund set up? We need to go through all of that with you. And we need to make sure your PPM says the same thing that you can invest into what we're doing. That is a, you know, uh, an extension of what we're doing because we don't need you getting into trouble. So we get into trouble too. See what we're doing here is l like Brian said, when people invest, when large investors come in, usually they're just investing into these funds. Usually people that set up these funds with a, a, a unique opportunity like this, like they're going to just take investors because they don't need to deal with an extra layer of liabilities. That is why we're going above and beyond to make sure that you guys are going to be successful because my vision is not just to have a great fund that makes a lot of money. My vision is to empower people. You each get to be empowered in what we're doing and become a fund manager and to learn because as you learn, your family is going to learn, your kids are going to learn, your friends are going to learn. And that's how we're going to make a difference here. So just know like that is the core of where I'm coming from when I'm doing this. Do I need to be doing this? No, I'm actually taking on a shit ton more stress to do this. Okay, a lot more extra work for me to do this. Really, I don't need to, right? But the vision is way bigger than this. And that's why I hope everyone can see the vision and start to like be a part of it. And it's the empowerment of people.
Does that make sense, Tori? Did you ask the question? Who asked the question? Yeah, I asked. <laughs> All right. So the, we could go ahead. Yeah. So they oversee all of that for you. And, and and this is also overseen by the entire blockchain system, right? Yeah. Are they getting it monthly or quarterly? Or just different depending on the deal? Depends on your blockchain plan. Depends on you. Right? We'll give you what we suggest you do, right? I think quarterly is usually the better choice, um, you know, to make distributions. Monthly is literally... I mean, we do monthly on a lot of our deals. It's just way too much like doing and yeah. Well, we'll be paying out probably same thing quarterly. All right. Awesome. Nelson. A, a track to run on and then what i'm seeing from my perspective is there's two things when i invest in the fund with my partners or whatever it is we have two things to bring to the table we either bring investors or credit investors through our friends and family uh, network uh, of, of, of influence or through advertising advertise i mean of credit investors of, of credit investors a similar put the list on your pitch deck and then the action that's to get investors. Now, obviously, to get investors, we need a deal. Not necessarily a deal, but your vision. Your vision and a deal would help, I think, right? If we have a deal attached to our vision, then we have more leverage. And the second thing is that's part one, to create income, to create the, the fund, the capital. And the second one is the deal. So, obviously, you, I guess, would you also give us, if some, if some of our team members have the time, don't have the treasure, to go look for these deals? That they could bring uh, the yeah, yeah, you're not, you're not, you're not bringing the deals. We also show, we do the deals, we do the portfolio, we do everything for you right now. Now, is there an opportunity in the future to grow into something else? Yes, because you may say, wow, I have access because of all the things I've learned, because of access to to the resources from being a part of this community, this ecosystem, I can now... I have, you might have your own core competencies. You might have, you might have a relationship with, let's say, a, a big bank, right? And they're going to say, well, Nelson, you've been a great fund manager. You have access to all this capital and what you're doing as a fund manager. Before we, when we take deals back, before we even go put it out there, we're going to give you a call first. And now you all of a sudden have a core competency and you say, hey, Alex, I want to create a new fund. And I'm going to run the master fund. I'm going to say, okay, cool. Let's, let's talk about that. And then we'll create one under the same structure of everything. And then now other fund managers out there will say, Ooh, look, I like, I like that one right there. See, this is how, this is how everybody wins. This is how we, cre we empower people. And there's a, there's always growth, right? I'm always about like empowering is not just give you a ceiling is you got, you're empowered and I want you to get to where I'm at. I want you to do everything that I'm doing. I want you to do more, you know, and I'm going to give you the tools for you to go have these conversations and build these relationships that are exclusive to you. And now you have something to bring to the table. And now there's a new fund. There's a, there's a Nelson uh, bank foreclosure fund, right? Under the, under the legends brand. And every you're bringing, you're bringing what I think Primerica or you know, Williams, Williams 
brought to the insurance world many years ago that rocked the perpetual world. He brought the, the complicated insurance world to the masses so that we can all profit together. I mean, many can profit together. And he did, he sold it out to uh, Primerica for, I think, or I don't know what it was, for over a billion dollars. You know, we're going to you guys know who he is. But I love your concept. It's like a franchise, multi-level marketing concept, like a very complicated, very high-end profit margins. You're making it simple and open for everybody. So thank you, Alex. Looking forward to learning more. Appreciate you. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, appreciate and Ryan it. And everybody else here, appreciate that. Yeah. All right, Jason. So we're going to do just five more minutes of Q&A, and I want to wrap this up. You know, I appreciate everyone's endurance and everyone's patience and, and your interest. Okay, definitely your interest. Your, and Nelson, your enthusiasm. Amazing. Love it. I have, a, I have a, a, a quote here that says, success consists of going from failure to failure without the loss of enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is a very big core value of mine. All right, Jason, go ahead. Thanks, Alex. Your, uh, your setup fee seems to be 50000 That's for the fund of funds. Your, whoever brings the 50000 is going to be the fund of fund manager. And then on top of that, you're going to have to bring a capital raise of how much exactly before we're able to actually roll that fund of funds into the master fund. I was wondering, it sounded like you said there isn't a limit to how much money that fund of funds can raise. But there is a limit to how many investors can be in each fund of funds, mm -hmm. which is two people. Yeah. So I was wondering at what point can you roll over or pour your fund of funds into the master fund? And is there a, a minimum? And what happens if someone, if a fund manager isn't able to bring the minimum to that? Then what happens to uh, that fund or the, the manager, the people that are, that are involved in that fund? So I think what we've been talking about is we're not actually going to create a limit for our fund to fund managers to come in. Okay. So because this is, this is why, this is why you're the access that you're getting, there is no limit. Now, if somebody else individual was to say, Hey, Alex, I want to invest in your fund. There is a minimum. The minimum is going to be like $5 million. Okay. Then you can come into our fund, but for you guys, like we're removing that minimum threshold. All right. And the other cool thing, okay, that, that is here too. There is, you know, when you've reached, and I'm we're going to teach this is when you've reached like a million dollars invested in your own fund, you actually can take your initial setup fee and pull it out as your fixed expense. You know, when we think about syndications and all of that, like the, the, when you're doing a capital raise, you have insurance inspections, you know, all the different things that you did to set up your, your syndication. When the deal is raised, you actually pull out all that risk capital that you put in, right? As part of your raise. So it's no different here. Okay. We just got to make sure we set it up correctly. We do it all correctly. Everything. This is why compliance and legal is so important. Like we got your back in this whole thing. You got the gutters and you got the fence around your lane. Do you have a pitch deck to show potential clients on what your elevator pitch is? So right now it's right now it's the it's the concept. See, we're we're in, we're inviting you guys to be in in the pioneer stage and what we got to offer. Okay, just the debt that we have alone has everybody interested in what we're doing. And then we have the properties, the project that we're going after, right? Like nobody else can get deals like we can get. Nobody else can develop and build like we can build because of the debt product that we have, you know? So just in that itself, let's take this, let's put aside anything else in any project that we're looking at. Let's just look at any real estate deal that you are looking at. Right. As a fund and what we have behind us, we can go in and negotiate a deal because we have the funds. If we're going to build, nobody else has our, our, our construction loan. It's, it's a no brainer. Okay. And we'll talk more about as, as you know, when, when you guys join and become a part of it, the first sessions that you guys are going to, uh, get into is exactly what the structure looks like, you know, and how will you be able to pitch it right now? You guys are getting an overview of, 
what we're looking at. All right, and just be in the be in the be, stay inside, stay in the loop. And we are taking, you know, the first um, the first 10 to 20 uh, fund to funds to start building like now. Okay, so that's going to be something that you guys are going to be building with us. Again, like I said, first people's in, there is definitely a uh, an advantage to being the first in. That means the first deals that come. And the first deals, why the first deals are great in this in this project? Because when we do the second deal, the first deal is automatically going to increase in value. When we do the third deal, the second and the first are going to increase in value. All right, so... Um, you know, we'll, we'll set up, set up one-on-ones with me again. Like I said, um, shared the link earlier, set up the one-on-one -on -one and really get to know what, like everybody here should really be thinking, how do I become a part of this? How do I do it? Cause really like the, the, the people, the people that are, you know, that are really experienced and big in the game, they're like, I can't believe you're actually charging so little for access. I'm like, I'm not even charging for access. This is just the cost of them building their fund. I just want people to do this with because the vision again, isn't about just profit. Profit is like third or fourth on the list. So anyways, um, let's see what else. If you, if we bring investors on now, when does distribution start? So, you know, we want to, we're, we're probably having the, the fund, the entire main fund will launch um, probably early February. Okay. And there's going to be a period of time where we deploy capital and, you know, again, there's going to be three different classes in which people are going to invest into and we'll be returning on a quarterly basis. And we have a couple deals lined up already. That is going to be the first deals. All right. So let's see what else. Okay, so I really, you know, appreciate everybody being here for, you know, almost two hours. I, I respect everyone's time, and we did say we were just going to go an hour and a half. So if you have more questions, if you want to be more involved, like set up that one-on-one -on -one with me. Definitely, yes, the recording will be available. We will send this out, but definitely, like, be in. Okay, when we get started, like this first fund will probably fill up pretty quickly. Then you're going to have to wait, right? And don't delay. Why delay? You know, this is a great opportunity to become and play at the, at the highest level of the investment world. All right. So thank you all very much for being here. I appreciate you guys so much. And set up that call. Thank you, Alex. All right. Good job, bro. Yeah. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.